What's going on YouTube? I hope you're having a good week. If you guys haven't seen my latest video, I'm giving away a Luma Fade transition, so go check that out. That one's really cool, and hopefully you guys are enjoying that one as well. For this week's video, I want to do a quick tutorial on how to do uh, underwater or sort of muffled audio effect. I've got a few questions on this, and it's super easy to do. Uh, everything's built right into Final Cut, so it's pretty much drag and drop, but I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. So let's hop in the computer and into Final Cut, and I'll, let's get it done. Okay guys, we're in Final Cut right now, and I figured what I'd do for this tutorial is just sort of walk you through what I did in my edit, and I will show you a few little tips and tricks along the way um, to really sort of enhance this effect. So I'm going to play the Young Bombs first, and then we're going to do one from the My Year edit that I did. So that's pretty much the effect. You can hear it's sort of muffled. Um, I guess the technical term would be a low pass audio filter for it. So in order to do this, all you have to do is cut your clip from where you want it to start and where you want it to end. So that's pretty simple. And then you're gonna go over to your effects and we'll go into the audio effects and there's an effect called muffled. So muffled, here it is. I have it applied to the clip already. And sort of what I did is I keyframed it so that... So you hear how it sort of jumps in or sort of like fades in and then fades out. So if you look at my keyframes here, I start at the start of the cut. I keep the muffled audio effect at zero and then I keyframe it throughout the transition. So once the transition is done, then I have another keyframe at 30. I think the default for the effect is about 50, but I think that's a little bit too much. Um, I think for most people's needs, 30 is about good. And for the type, make sure it's muffled clean. Um, I don't like any of the other ones. I think they sort of ruin the audio quite a bit. But muffled clean is my favorite and about 30. So keyframe it in and do the same on the out as well. So we'll keyframe at 30 at the start of the ending transition and then go to zero so that when the next clip comes in, the audio is back to normal again. So that is the effect for this one. And then let's go do an underwater one as well. So this is from my My Year edit. And I'm going to do a little bit of experimentation here. So another little audio trick that you can do is uh, Final Cut has a built-in underwater filter for it. So this can be found in the audio, in sound effects, and it's just called underwater. So this is a minute and 34 seconds, so it's pretty long. But it's sort of like that drowned out um, wave sound which I think is actually pretty cool and it adds an extra layer to your video clip so anything underwater this could actually be a really cool way to add some depth to your editing so what I did is I applied that onto this clip and you can't really hear it um, but in the background you can definitely hear it a little bit so what I'm gonna do this right now doesn't have any sort of muffled audio on it So what we're going to do is we're going to add it in. So we're going to start it. Uh, we're going to start it. Start it here. We can cut our audio. And then cut it at the end, the transition too. So once we apply the muffled audio to it, See, the muffled audio default is 50, so I'm just going to bring that down to 30. I won't show you any of the keyframing right now. So now you can see, once you add the muffled audio to your music clip, and then you add the underwater effect to it, you really get sort of a dynamic layer um, to the audio, which sounds really authentic in my opinion. Another thing you can do too is instead of the muffled or if you want to add on the muffled is there's also an audio filter called underwater. So we can add this 
So let's take out muffled and add in the underwater. And we'll see how that sounds. So that almost goes like incredibly more muffled. Um, but I actually think it sounds really cool for underwater clips. So if we bring this down, it's pretty strong. So let's go to 30 again. So it really sounds like you are underwater, which is pretty cool. So maybe what we could do is try a little combination, do 15 of that, and then add the muffled as well. And the muffled at 15. So now we get multiple effects all sort of overlapping each other. So to me, that feels like you really are underwater, uh, which is pretty cool. So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's super simple. Definitely play around with the effects. I think that adds sort of an extra step in your edits to make that. Um, just to make them even more professional. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm really trying to do weekly videos, so stay tuned for more.